Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to install the GXE 7700N printer as a network printer to your Windows-based computer. The first step in doing this is actually to assign an IP address to your printer. If you've not done this step already, you should stop here and check out my video for how to configure your GXE 7700 printer as a network printer. If you already have your IP address assigned, the next step is to actually download the print driver. Now you can get this driver from condi.com under the port partner net area. Once you have it downloaded, double click and run the program. We're going to accept the license agreement and hit next. I want to connect via LAN. Next. I want to add a new printer or connect a printer without USB. Next. Now once we get to this screen, we want to expand all the options simply by clicking on the plus, the plus box right beside the check box. This is going to show us everything about this printer. We want to change the port to match the IP address that we have assigned to the printer. So we're going to add a port, a network, or standard TCP IP port, and hit OK. And this starts the wizard for setting up an IP address to your driver. We want to hit next here and just type in the IP address that you have assigned to your printer. Hit next. Now you may or may not get this screen. Um, the program will actually try to go out and talk to the printer to find out what model printer it is. In this particular instance, the printer just happens to be turned off, so it can't communicate with the printer. So I'm just going to hit Next on Generic Network Card, and then hit Finish. The next thing we're going to notice is a checkbox for Default Printer. If you do not want to make this your default printer, just simply uncheck this box. And then hit Continue. And it's going to start copying the driver files. Once we get to the status monitor screen, just simply hit next. And then on the final screen, you may or may not get the options to restart your computer. There is no need to restart your computer at this point, so simply hit no if you do see these options. And then click finish. If you don't see that, just simply click finish. Now that the printer is installed, it's time to configure the printer. The next thing we need is the ICC profile. Now I have this ICC profile on a thumb drive. Um, to acquire one of these, to acquire this profile, just simply send an email to support at condi.com requesting help setting up your printer or just requesting an ICC profile. We're going to find the ICC profile, simply right click on it and select install profile. Now I'm showing uninstall profile because I already have it installed. When you click that, you won't see anything happen, but that's okay. Continue on. The next thing you want to do is open your printer list. On Windows XP, which is what I have here, it's going to be printers and faxes. On Vista, it's simply going to be printers. And on Windows 7, it's going to be devices and printers. If you don't see any of those options in the main menu here, you want to go into your control panel. And you should see it here. Now, if you have uh, the category view selected, you may see something like this. On Windows XP, it's going to be printers and other hardware. Windows Vista and Windows 7, you're going to see hardware and sound. Just simply click on that. And then here, of course, printers and faxes. On Windows Vista, you would see printers. And on Windows 7, you'd see devices and printers. Open that. And then you will see your printer installed. Now, the one we installed today is the Gel Sprinter GXE 7700N underscore 2. It's simply named that because I actually already had a GXE 7700 installed on the, pr the computer. So the next one is right click and go to properties. Now 
Now again, I'm getting these boxes because the printer is turned off. Um, once you get to this screen, we want to get to the go into advanced and select start printing after last page is spooled. Next, we want to go to color management and I'm going to select man manual and hit add. Now, if you have Windows XP, this is how this will look. On Windows Vista and Windows 7, on this screen, you're going to see a button that says color management. Simply click on that button and then you get a new window with a pull down at the top. You'll have to select the printer at the pull down at the top and then check a box that says use my settings. From there you have a pull down where you select manual and then select add at the bottom. Once you have this up, we want to look through this list for our profile. GXE 7700N Ditrans High Quality. Just select it and hit add. OK on Windows Vista and Windows 7. And then you're going to hit OK again. Again, on Windows Vista and Windows 7, you'll hit close to close out the pop up window and then click OK. The next step, you're going to right click on the printer and go to Printing Preferences. Again, I'll get a couple of pop ups simply because the printer is turned off. Just click OK. OK here. And now I'm into Printing Preferences. The first thing you want to do is go to Printer Configuration, uncheck Reduce Automatically, and then if you have a 32-bit operating system, you're going to want to select RAW. On a 64 operating system, this pull-down is not here, so simply continue on. Next, we go to the Setup tab. We change the paper type to Inkjet Plain Paper, select User Settings, and hit Change. We want to put a check in Use Error Diffusion set color profile to off, click on the miscellaneous tab and check the box for print as bitmap. Click OK here, click save, type in Condi ICC. When you hit OK you'll notice the custom settings pull down now says Condi ICC. So if these settings get off for whatever reason all you have to do is simply reselect Condi ICC and it'll set everything back the way it needs to be. Next, just hit Apply and OK and close out your printers. The very last step to do is to configure whichever application you're going to be printing from. If you have any problems or any questions with this or anything else that we support at Condi Systems, simply give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2, or send us an email to support at condi.com.